Hey, Pickle. So this was the first day that I received my Psyonix Aurora Pro. Um, I'd already had to tinker with the Aurora Sport, which you can see from my previous videos just recently. Um, and I was quite impressed with it and felt like I would quite like to see what the Pro version is like, so I knew it was better in low light. And I, eventually around 11.30 at night, I decided to um, have a break and I took the camera out and played with some of the settings and quite quickly came across something, which is what you'll see now. What the f*** is that? So I stepped out into the back garden, had a little tinker with some of the settings, which I was already pretty much familiar with um, from the sport. And I was just holding the camera down by my side. I wasn't recording, but it was on. And I just happened to look up across the, the or straight ahead really. And I could see this object coming towards me, um, pretty much directly towards me. Uh, and it was very, I mean, the sky was, you know, dark, not black exactly, but this thing was slightly lighter and I could see it approach me. And as it approached, it seemed to be slightly moving or changing shape. I couldn't quite work out initially. I got the impression that it, it didn't just appear. It was coming towards me. I just didn't notice it, I guess. It was about the size of half the size of the moon, maybe. And um, the light was reflecting off of it. Uh, but it wasn't generating any light itself. As soon as I realised what I was looking at and, you know, what is this? I held up the camera. And this is where, and I'm press record, and that's where this video starts, basically. Um, I was shaking a little bit because I was like, you know, I was like, no, it can't be. This is like the first day. I'm not going to, I've never really seen anything apart from something out the bedroom window here a couple of years ago. Um, but that was probably something like Chinese lanterns being lit from somewhere in the city. Um, but I've never really seen anything myself. So to see this, I, I was starting to shake a little bit, but I managed to keep the camera steady. And uh, you can see, uh, it's, it gives the impression it's quite close. I mean, it, it looks like it's maybe over the houses, behind the houses that are in the shot. Um, maybe a hundred foot away and a couple hundred foot away, maybe a hundred feet up. It was difficult to tell in a way, but I've got the impression it was close. Um, and as I obviously f zoomed in, oh, well aimed at the object. Um, there isn't really a zoom on the on the Aurora, uh, apart from the digital, which I normally use straight away and, and probably shouldn't have. Um, but you can see that it's the same shape as it approaches and then it slows. And I did get the feeling like it was, it's gonna sound woo woo, but it was, it stopped there. I noticed it, it stopped. It was like it was meant to be there or I was meant to be seeing it. I'm not sure. I mean, it could be just complete coincidence, but I did have a feeling, whatever that means. And it seemed to then change shape. And I thought from when I sort of held the camera away from my uh, from my eye just to have another look. My, unfortunately, my eyes took a while to adjust, but it looked like it was rotating or pulsing. And you can see from the video that it is somewhat rotating. There's also a couple of pixels which suggest that it's it's got some structure of some kind or at least something of a different shape or maybe even something hanging from it. There's a few pixels might not come across with the compressed video, but uh, there was something on the original that may be just poking out from the bottom of it. I'm, I'm not sure, but the, the thing rotates. You know, I thought it was a balloon. I thought it was a drone. There's no lights on the drone. There's no noise. I know I had music on in the background, um, which ironically I later found out was Smashing Pumpkins and the lyrics, we only come out at night was playing over and over again just a few minutes before I recorded this object, um, which made me smile when I realised. But it it seemed to hover there for a couple of minutes and I really wanted to go in and get my zoom on my mirror list, but I knew that as the time I get the lens on, 
I just I just felt that I'd go back outside and it would have disappeared and I would have been kicking myself for not taking my eyes off it because, you know, I've read lots of UFO literature for 25 years. I know how these things work. Not to say that that was necessarily a UFO, but I also didn't want to know which direction it went. You know, it could have gone straight up and I would have missed it. It could have gone back on itself. It could have just fallen to the ground. Who knows? I did ask it to um, flash for me mentally and actually out loud. Um, and I was really hoping, but they didn't flash back. I mean, that would have been something else. Um, but we were just observing for a while and I was quite thankful. Uh, I did sort of say, appreciate that I've had this sighting. And then it started to move away and I, you can see that it starts to change shape. Um, and it becomes more, hate to say this, tic tac -y, but it's certainly more oval-like, and I didn't know if that was just because it was an object that was rotating and gave the impression that it was oval, whether it actually changed shape. But when it started to move, it looked like, you know, it had intention, and it was moving in that direction, whether it was controlled or autonomous. And I did actually say out loud, oh, please don't go yet. And almost instantly, it seemed to slow, and... Um, it seemed to change back its, into more of a spherical shape. Now, again, I can't be 100% sure about that, is that is, if that's actually what happened. But, you know, it was timed exactly. Uh, and then it sort of slowed and drifted off, and I casually filmed the floor for a bit. I don't know why I didn't keep the camera on it. should have realised I should have gone upstairs, but I also didn't have the IR torch attached to the... Um, to the Psionics, which I'd taken off because it was on the sport. I could have, you know, aimed at it, had some reflection. Um, it could have possibly overpowered it because I, when I was playing with the settings, I already had the um, exposure up by 0.7, um, which I didn't realise until afterwards. So I probably lost some detail there, um, which you can see I've tried to correct in um, in the edits after this, this main video. Um, I've tried to show as many different filters as possible to highlight edges and stabilize and a um, bit of a learning experience for me so I've probably done some things a, a bit incorrectly but um, you can see there's a little bit more to it I didn't know how I felt after doing the edits I kind of felt like no nah, it's just well it's just something mundane it's a, maybe it is a balloon but everybody I've shown it to sort of felt like it didn't really act like it was a balloon there wasn't really any wind um, I mean, I think it was a really still night. I can go back and check the dates. But, like I say, there was, there was no noise. So unless it's a very, very lightweight propeller on top of a balloon type of drone, you know, children's toy type thing. But again, it rotated around and I would have thought a propeller on something like that would probably not be a good idea. You know, it, it surely would stay upright. And that doesn't appear to be the case. It does look, in some of the shots, like a mini UFO. You know, like some of those UFO type suites or something, because it looks just small in the video. But I don't know what to think about it. I, you know, I wanted to share it and see what other people think. I'm, I've got not much to compare to that I've recorded, at least. Um, and unfortunately, like I say, some of the settings I sort of messed up. And, you know, I'll be more prepared next time. But I, I really wasn't, I was just using the camera. I wasn't really hoping for anything. I mean, I've been talking about it on group chat for, you know, quite a lot recently because of all everything that's happened in the last few years and I've always followed the phenomenon for since I was 18 so 25 years later you know I've got some ideas about how the way these things work or what they might be but I literally don't know with this one um, obviously it didn't shoot off <laughs> um, it just sort of casually meandered I did feel like it was controlled which makes me think it was some sort of toy but I don't know. I don't know where it went. I'm really curious to follow it. And um, You watch these videos that other people have recorded and you think, why don't you just follow the damn thing? And the reality is, I'm in the city here. By the time I would have got out, I, uh, I, would, I, I mean, I could have taken the car, but it's not really... I wouldn't, there's a lot of high houses here. I probably wouldn't see too much. I'd have to keep stopping. It's dark. Got the lights on. So I'd be walking around on foot. And I guess, I don't know why I didn't, but I just felt like it was going to be pointless. Um, but of course, it would have been great to have seen it just flowing around and it being a children's balloon or something. And I wouldn't have had to edit this video. But who knows? Maybe I'll get some more.